sea urchin. Have you guys had this before? Uni, right? Look at that. She'll start moving even more when we uh, crack her open. This is where the mouth's at right here, right? So that's where we're gonna crack it. So we got the big sea urchin here, we got the purple ones here. You can see they're still alive, they're still moving there. We'll crack those open. But we're gonna take this, we're gonna take two spoons, right? Kind of back to back here. And kind of squeeze them, to get, squeeze them together so it cracks the shell open. If it does it here. Spoon, yeah, there it goes. Do it a couple times here. And it gets kind of messy, there you go, right? We're gonna crack her open there, and that's the inside. Look at that. So you get the little eggs in there, right? The little pods, right? That's what, that's the uni part of it. It's the row, right? So we're gonna take a little bit out, and leave the rest of the inside in there if we can. Drain it a little bit, and put them in some real nice cold water here, right? Like an ice bath. So you can find the good stuff. Clean it up a little bit. Take that out. Take everything but the yellow out there. Let it soak in there for a little bit. Come out a lot nicer. There's some more in there. So you get like five to six pieces in there per, per sea urchin. It depends, just like an oyster. It depends on how big it, the oyster is inside. It just goes right along the, the side walls of the sea urchin. So you can see right inside there. Whoa, there's one, still kicking. Uni, so this is a delicacy for a lot of the Japanese and the biggest delicacy in the sushi side that we want here for, oops, for a order of uni, you're going to pay between six to eight dollars for two pieces and like we did with the gunkang with the little s spicy scallop, that's how we're going to serve this and the little battleships there, Let's see if we get it out cleanly here. Right, you can see see the other one moving quite a bit here. You just gotta be gentle with it. You just dunk them right in the cold water. Right? A lot of times you'd probably just get it already in the in the wood tray or the white styrofoam tray, right? Real clean. 250 grams. It's a good one to get right there. A lot of sushi bars will carry that. Especially on the weekends, right? You'll see a lot of the, the uni come out on the weekends. Not too much on the weekdays. And then if it's raining, right, you got to be careful because this is a shellfish. So it's seasonal, especially when it rains, they won't die for them. Because you want the water to settle, right? Because it filters all the, all the runoff as well. So you want to let it just sit in there for 24, 48 hours before you go diving again for them. Get one more piece in here. Get all that nice and yummy. Show you how good this is just right out of the shell. This is the ice bath, cold water that you want to have. So it's pretty cold in here too. Look at that. Just part of the row right there. Yum. Nice and sweet. Look at that. All good right out of that. So then we're going to take it here. Close this up. We'll take the little pods here. We're going to take the gloves off now. A little easy right here urchin. It's okay in the water there. Just kind of clean her all up. Take all the insides out there. We're going to put on a paper towel here. All right, get some more of the moisture off there. Grab another one. Do a couple of these. And again, like with sashimi, like I mentioned before, hot rice, steamed rice is good, right? Get real cold fish, real hot steam rice two different temperatures pretty intense right kind of clean that up again look at that piece right there yummy got my two chefs here on the side they're probably just drooling right now because i'm going to eat it here we go but a lot of sushi chefs like eating here this is the uni again the sea urchin right nice and clean there we get one more piece out here all right just take all the insides out little black pieces that. Right? Yummy. So there's that one here. Let's try to crack open a little one here. See how that looks. Let's get a nice size one here. Right? Same thing. Smaller mouth here. Might be a little bit easier to crack her open. Look 
that. Yeah. So you don't want to step on these, right? You see these out in the ocean or the tide pools, be careful, right? They get into your they're poisonous, some of them are, so be careful. Smaller uni here, we'll just do a couple here just so you can see what they look like. A little different color. Still the same animal right there, right? Put them in the water. Grab that one out. Let's see what it looks like here. Yum. Clean up right there, right? Just take a little bit of that off. Put this in the uh, paper towel too. There's your colors, right? You got the, the bigger one, a little lighter in color. Probably a little sweeter. And this one's nice for color too. But all sea urchin, right? So we're gonna take a steam rice here, right? There's our steam rice. There's another one falling. Take our chopsticks here. Put it right on top of the rice. Right, a little wasabi, a little soy sauce, a little sashimi right here. Look at this piece right here. Nice, perfect piece right there. And then one more, the little guy. Like that, huh? Something real easy, real simple. Take a chopstick there. So steam rice, real hot, right? Uh, you got the coolness of the, the sea urchin. So you're gonna take a little bit of both, right? Your chopstick, we're gonna take this little guy right here. Mmm, the coolness of the fish, oh, that's sweet too. A little bit of steamed rice for temperature contrast. Only way to go. So, shimmy with uni, steamed rice, a little wasabi and soy sauce if you'd like. I mean, this is it. We're gonna crack these open later. We're gonna have some sushi, some sashimi. Have fun. Uni time.